Welcome to the Wind River 2 Compass Calibration Training Course. My name is Dan Murphy and I work in the Field Service Department at TED and Audi Instruments. There I respond to customers' emails and phone calls regarding TRDI's products. I've been with the company for 10 years. Wind River 2 allows you to calibrate a Workhorse Rio Grande, a Stream Pro or a River A Compass. This class will focus on the ISM Compass Calibration. The ISM Compass is TRDI's designed and manufactured compass. It is found in newer River A's and all Stream Pros that have the optional compass installed. In the case of older River A's, they will have the Honeywell Compass. If you are not sure which compass you have in your River A, you can tell as follows. If the user interface is in a text format, then you have the Honeywell Compass. If the user interface is a graphical user interface, then you have the ISM compass. These are the specifications taken from the River A user guide. The user guide is available on the support section of the website under documentation, item number 61. Why do a compass calibration? The reason to do a compass calibration is to minimize errors caused by hard and soft iron. Hard iron cause single cycle errors. These are the more dominant errors. These are caused by permanent magnets and current flowing in electrical conductors. Soft iron causes double cycle errors. These are less dominant. These soft iron errors are caused by iron and magnetically permeable materials. You can rotate the ADCP in either direction for the calibration or for the evaluation. Rotate smoothly. Do not cause sudden accelerations or decelerations. Before you start the compass calibration, create a new measurement so that your calibration results will be saved along with your transect results. Then click Acquire, Execute Compass Calibration, or hit Shift F10. This will bring you to this screen. Notice the instructions on the top of the dialog. Rotate the ADCP around until all the red bars have been replaced by another color. The greener the bars, the better the data. If a bar is not dark green, rotate more slowly and smoothly. Correct any non-dark green bar when it occurs by going back 10 or 20 degrees until that bar is once again highlighted. Then after it becomes dark green, proceed as before. Notice that there is also a pitch and roll radio button. It is not necessary to click yes to calibrate for pitch and roll unless you are in very high pitch and roll conditions. Typically, no pitch and roll calibration is fine. Click start and wait a moment until the compass is initialized by the software. The compass calibration is beginning and you can see we already have two green bars. Notice the heading is changing as we rotate the ADCP. I am rotating clockwise, though you can rotate counterclockwise equally well. The time it is taken to do this compass calibration at this moment is what you should see when you're doing an actual calibration. Now we've got to the 90 degree point as you can see. It is important to do the calibration with the river in the float or if you're using an over the side mount then you have to have it in the over the side position. In other words it has to be in the same physical setup scenario as it will be when you are going to make your discharge measurement.
we are almost finished as you can see we're approaching to 70 degrees and now we have the results of our calibration they were rather fast in any event we are now doing the evaluation rotation and the same as before rotate smoothly here I will speed up the video so that we can get towards the end now we're approaching the end one more bar to go and now it's doing the actual calculations and you can see we have a calculated error of 0.1 degrees this is very good we should now click close and move over here to look at the results which are under the calibration tab and here we have the results that you can view for posterity and we've completed the calibration if you want to contact us our website is rdinstruments.com or if you want to email us our email address is rdifs at teledyne.com or you can call us on the telephone 858-842-2700 thank you